guys, Nancy Bay here, Modern Day Poker. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. And welcome back to my channel. And guess what? Ta-da! It's done. My bunk bed set up for the spring so I can take my granddaughter with me or another short human. So here it is. 67 inches across. I'm, I'm 62 inches. I'm five feet two. From window to window, it is 67 inches long. This is gonna be perfect because she's obviously shorter than I am and the space up here provided for her is gonna allow me and her to have more space down here. The last couple years what we've been doing is using the front passenger seat as her bed which has worked out fabulously. It really, really has. But uh, what I've recognized fully is that in the middle of the night if we have to use the restroom, um, there's, not a, there's not a lot of space down here because the seat's completely folded down and back and it's taking up all my space. And also I'd have to move the refrigerator that I keep right behind the passenger seat. So I was thinking and thinking, and I think I mentioned this in one of my videos uh, last fall that I was gonna devise a plan, have my husband help me figure something out to have a bunk bed set up so she and I can van camp more easily and more comfortably. And I think we've come up with it. So let's, uh, let's hop back here and check it out. All right, before we get into all of that, I might wanna add right quick, how do I get from point A to point B when I have Clem with me. Obviously she has to be in a car seat. So this is how we do that. This seat will stay up all the time. The seat will never go down, which is one reason this is a fabulous situation. I don't have to put the seat down, make a big deal about it. I can just put her car seat up in the front seat. This table will fold up into its smallest form. As you know, legs go in, it folds flat, right? And it goes right behind my camp kitchen right there. If you recall, that's where I keep it when I drive. So behind this, behind this bed is my camping kitchen. And then there is space between the end of my bed here and that kitchen. And this table folded completely flat. It's a two by two is what it is. And it folds perfectly behind the camp kitchen. All these blankets will just go flat on my bed. And uh, that's how that's going to be. And... Um, it's gonna be an easy situation to put up. And when she's with me and I travel with my friends, I never have to take this down because my friend has two little boys who require car seats as well. And uh, this is this bed's always set up in my van where hers, she converts it back and forth every day to put her kids in her their car seats. So we travel with her in her van. So at the campground, this will be up the whole entire time. All right, moving on. So what are we using for this? Awesome bunk bed idea. Something very simple. Anyone can do this with probably any van. A lifetime table, a four foot lifetime table. And that's it. It fits perfectly between the van walls here. As a matter of fact, because this seat is so tight up against the wall here. I obviously can't push this any further over, which gives me a lot more room over here. I'm not really loving that because I do value every inch of my free space over here. So I'm probably three inches or so uh, less on this side because of this chair situation here. I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. But I'm not gonna complain because I really think this is a great setup. So let's move on. All right, so I've got a little bit more space on this side. As you know, this is where I keep my um, window covers and it's a great place for those and other things that you need to kind of slide in and out of the way. So even though I'm losing a little bit of space over here, I'm not gonna complain. It's gonna be okay. And when you're bringing people you love with you, you just gotta be flexible, right? And I love my sweet granddaughter and she loves coming with me. So we will sacrifice and we will work it out. But on the upside, like my husband said, he said, you know what? You got a lot more room over here to put your shoes and her shoes and, and anything else you might need out of the way. Because as you guys know, this space over here is my utility area. I don't really use this door to come in and out of. So that's that. All right. This is why this is so great. As you see over here, 
This is where I keep my refrigerator. My refrigerator always stays here. And when I had her come with me, I would have to move it from here all the way on the other side on top of my camping kitchen over there. And it wasn't the end of the world because this refrigerator has a very long cord. But what's gonna be really great is that I won't have to do that anymore. I will not have to do that anymore. So I'm really excited about that. And the other great thing is that when we get up in the middle of the night, uh, and if she has to use the restroom, depending on where we're at, uh, we're gonna have all the space in the world to do that here. And we're not gonna have anything in our way or have to be cramped. I'm so excited about this. So let's talk um, about the space on this bed. All right, I had to put uh, a couple of my uh, window covers in because it's about seven o'clock here right now and the sun is just now beaming in these windows and uh, it was disastrous. So from window, actual window to window is 67 inches long. And as you know, there is space to fill here okay because obviously the table only comes up to the wall here so what I've taken are these couch pillows that I have from the basement they go on our futon and I have put them in a pillowcase twist this baby around and I'm using one on each side as a filler just like that it's actually perfect. Then I'm just going to lay this self-inflated Greatland air mattress over that. Then her sleeping bag. And I've done that on both sides. So those pillows take up the space on both sides here. And voila, 67 inch bed. I can lay up here, which I'm gonna demonstrate right now. As you know, I'm 5'2", so 62 inches long, and from window to window, it is 67 inches long, and uh, I'm 100 and none of your business pounds, but we're gonna see if this table holds me. So uh, let's check it out. Okay, here we go. Okay, here I am in my cozy bed. Now my knees are bent right now, but guess what, guys? I'm not a side sleeper for the most part. I'm a back sleeper, so. Look at this. Not bad, eh? Not bad. So if you're a small human or you have a child, uh, I think this is going to work out well for you. All right, let me hop down. There you have it. Let's talk about now what I put on my table here to protect my van wall. Because why? Because it really does push right up next to it. Let's check it out. So what I've done to protect my van wall from this leg here, which it doesn't obviously hit here, but down here, it's very, very tight. And uh, I don't want this all scratched up. So I took a runner, a carpet runner, a rubber backed carpet runner from my house that I had in the basement that I wasn't using. It's like brand new, but I wasn't using it. So I ran it over the, here on this side, all the way down here and it protects the wall of the van from these legs. And obviously I didn't need to run it all the way down on this side because there's so much room over here. Like again, I've got lots of space here. So on this side, um, it only comes down just past the table. This also is good to uh, keep the blanket in place. Put this afghan on the bottom for a little cushion. And then this is the self-inflated uh, Greatland um, mat, which is really cool. Never used it before. I bought it. I don't even know where. I think at a, I think at the thrift store for a couple bucks. And this Kelty, this is a really nice youth sleeping bag, and uh, I got that at the thrift store too. So, no need to buy all brand new stuff. Use what you have at the house. Um, makes it a lot easier, a lot more affordable. And again, because it's a no build, it works out great. Everything in here is either from my house or for camping alone or something like these pillows that I uh, utilize in my home. So anyhow, uh, I also wanna mention that this idea came from 
a friend of mine that I met that reached out to me a while back. She said, hey, I think a four foot table might work that way. She goes, uh, I saw it on someone's channel. They were using it in the back of their van for their kitchen. I bet it would work for a bed. And she's right. And I actually knew that it fit in here. I don't even know why I didn't think of it myself, but it was like, when she said that, I was like, yeah, total no brainer. So thank you, friend. So how much space do we have underneath the table for the person who will be sleeping on this bed? Well, um, enough for me. My feet are tiny. So I have plenty of space to get my legs under here. I can even cross my legs, put my legs flat. I can be sideways with my legs on top of each other. So for me, this works perfect. And I might want to add that the table is set at the lowest setting right now. It can go up a couple inches. I don't remember how many, but I did put it up and it was just too tall. And I felt like Clements wouldn't have enough head space. What I'm gonna do is I, I do have little two by four blocks, like building blocks, the real wood ones. And I'm gonna bring four of those. So when we're camping, if I find that this is a little bit too um, restricting, I'm gonna fix that problem and I'll just put blocks underneath the legs. But I think this is gonna work out fine. But uh, for someone else, um, you know, maybe you'll need to uh, elevate it some more. Also, um, if you don't have a bed as tall as mine, this is a Coleman Comfort Smart Cot. This one right here is a Coleman Comfort Smart Cot. It's 15 inches high, uh, 69 inches long, and 25 inches wide. If you chose to get more of a low profile bed, then you'd have a ton of room here a ton of room under here and that would work out perfectly as well but for me having the elevated bed that is my storage space under there I find it to be so precious to me so I like the elevated cot I like the fact that I can get my my trunk organizer in there which is where I keep all my clothing as you know my toilet stands up underneath here my utility bin is under here but I think I'm going to actually put that in the front seat this time around I don't know uh but yeah, I, I value the space underneath this cot. So I chose a, a 15 inch cot and I, I, I swear by it, I'm telling you. I have enough space. Just wanted to chat with you about that a minute. So no issue there. Um, and that's it. I just wanted to uh, hop on here and show you my, uh, my new plan, my new floor plan. But I'm gonna tell you this, it's 26 degrees out here. I'm freezing my hiney off. Oh my goodness, hence all the winter clothes. It's, what is it, it's March. March 18th, I think. Anyhow, um, yes, this is it. This is my new plan. And I will be going to Michigan Adventure this summer with Clements. Uh, me and her, obviously. Excuse me, I gotta get a drink of water. Uh, and my lady friend, Susie, you know her. She's got a couple little kids. And they van camp with me, and she's got a beautiful rig. So that's gonna be in June, and this is that's gonna be maybe the first time that we're gonna do this together. But guess what? I get her next weekend, so maybe I'll keep the van up all week, and she and I can go um, van camping some sneaky place. That might be fun. I think she'd love it. But anyhow, uh, that's it. I'm really super excited about this. I'm really super excited about my new setup, and I really can't wait to utilize it. I'm so stoked. All right, you guys. I miss everyone, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the new season, 2023, van camping, rock hunting, adventures, and uh, I couldn't wait till spring to do this. I mean, it is, well, it's March. It's not really spring, but it's supposed to be warmer than it is. 26 thinking degrees out. What? It was like 50 yesterday. Like, what the heck is going on? But anyhow, that's it. All right. I will catch you guys later. Everyone have a fabulous weekend. Until next time.